All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Evoland. So, well, thinking back, sorry, to uh, the previous episode last night, we were we opened up this uh, this time portal on the clearing here, and we now have the ability to travel between some different time zones but only like the one where we've been saved and then this one here at the moment we don't actually have a way to um change it from here now when we speak to uh caress here uh she's telling me about all the different bits and pieces of the magic key that we need to we need to find thanks me that means a lot buddy like, like I said last night, I do try and bring a bit of variety, so I, I do enjoy playing a whole range of uh, different games. So, the fact that uh, no, you don't mind, it uh, makes me feel good. So we've got these five uh, fragments here, which um, each have a different thing. So I thought I would start off tonight, actually. I'm going to make some notes. Don't worry, it's not going to turn into an arts and crafts stream. I'm just going to make a note of what she says about each of the different um, fragments. And then I think from there we're going to try and just sort of like work out um, where we need to go. Because we're kind of restricted to where we can go at the minute. And I thought I had checked everywhere last night, but I guess not. I believe as well we may already have the fragment of time, but... So, the fire is the pirates. So, in, our, in my present near a volcano. Ice was... Before the frozen continent began to melt, there lived fierce Vikings. So, the Vikings have the ice one. while the empire ruled so and then on the southwest southwest island is the timeless forest earth so the demons locked one away in a temple <laughs> the location was lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great Wall. Maybe, um, I wonder if we can, like, interact with Minos some way and he can tell us where it is. So there's a special Magilith in Windy Valley. Now, I'm sure this one was at the top. I'm sure that was like at the top when we got the um, the flying machine previously, before we got the Stone of Time. But um, we tried to get up Windy Valley last night, and the the disciples like block our way. I'm just actually just looking there, me to see if I'd still got the still got them. But I don't believe I have a moment's silence for. Uh, Tuna Companion Cube. I also think I need to do a... We need to do a DJ stream soon as well. It's been... Uh, it's been a hot moment. Since we've... Uh, had the DJ stuff out, so... Stay tuned for that. Of course, uh, if we do do a DJ stream, it uh, won't be on this channel. It will be over on uh, our second channel, which is DJ Lab Music. Alright, so this is the way I can like go all the way around the island then, because it's at southwest. It's the only place we haven't kind of been, isn't it? So I wonder if I can like go all the way around the island somehow. Thanks, Minka. So 
See, I, I think I need an airship or something for that. It's not particularly clear though where I can actually sail and where I can't sail. Doesn't look like I can get off at this volcano though, so we can't we definitely can't do the pirate one in this time. We can't go further north, so we can't get round to the southwest. Um We've got nowhere icy, so I don't think the Vikings. So that just leaves us with either Windy Valley or the Demons, right? So where is the Demons Temple, I wonder? Do you know what? I've I've wanted to do that for quite a while, Mika, actually. And my problem is like I don't know what music to pick, sort of thing. I wonder if this statue moves. I wonder if there's a way to like... Because I'm sure this is like where the demon thing camp was before, right? Magilif is definitely broken. But there's nothing there to um to do that. I've done some, like, game-inspired mixes before, but um, they're not really, like, OST tracks. They're more, like, remixed, rehashed tracks, which aren't sort of, like, the best. But, yeah. Um, I did do... Um, I did once use um, the Celeste Summit B-Side remix in a uh, transition between, like, Deep House and Trance, which sounded pretty awesome. Crazy, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, well, I can't buy any potions, and I can't wake anybody up. You good? Good to hear. Welcome to the weekend. It's got the haunted forest, but that's not where the demons were before. Pretty sure that there is nowhere. There's nowhere on nothing that I can interact with here. This guy says he knows me. I 
I just can say the same thing again. These guys won't let me past, which is really frustrating. Because we used the thing, and that, um, what they're actually referring to What they're actually referring to is the um, the flying machine we used previously. All right, well, I guess the only other thing I can think then is we go and we have to So we have to talk to people one by one over at um, Geneva. Tried that last night. I thought maybe that um, we could use Fina's ability there to make the um, make the machinery work, but I guess not. Okay, well, um, I guess we've got to talk to people in Geneva then. It's like the only place left that I can think of. I don't see the point of this because we can't actually like use it for anything. speak to uh, Mr. Fogwell maybe he's like a man of power Mr. Mudwell sorry thanks to the hydra aid doctoress welcome along buddy it's everything man it's 3D, it's 2D. It's a whole host of stuff. It's 
So this is all dialogue I've had before. Yeah, there is. But it's such a good job with this. I've been, like, properly impressed. Nobody want to play any cards? If the girls of uh she wants to play cards can't resist I might have already played her. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go and Atom. Atom. Wow, my dude got wrecked. Can't resist the cards. Big damage. on the ropes. We won this. Easy. Alright, we haven't played it before. So, oh, excuse me. kids. They're the stuck-up rich kids. Um, Alright, just another thought. I don't think there's anything here. So, let's maybe go back to the port town. See if there's anyone we can, like, interact with here. Uh, 
Uh, I've not seen that, no. all the dialogue we've seen before. <laughs> Alright, so... If we go to Curse Dial, can we pick up the Stone of Time? I thought we tried this last night, but. There's a way to you know if there's a way to like move it off here again. It doesn't look much like a key, does it? Alright, we're taking that from there. So what if we take this back now? Okay, what if we now take this back to... Um, yeah, let's take this back to... Caress. And we can see whether or not she opens up anywhere else for us now. What if I put the Stone of Time back on the pyramid? Because I know I can go up to the top of the pyramid. I honestly have no idea where I'm meant to be going here.
Uh, I know everybody's not been, maybe been following ever so closely, but um, Yeah, I mean, I was I was making notes. I'm into the bridge. Uh, no, it's not. Um, I don't know how much it is, because this was kindly donated by Conclan some time ago. And this is the uh, the Legendary Edition. They actually um, re-released it. And But what was quite nice is if you own both Evo Land 1 and 2, they gave you the Legendary Edition for free. So, it's... Uh, quite nice. So, what Karras said, just sort of contemplate what was said. She said, the pirates have the, fi the piece, the, the fire piece, um, but they live on a volcano, but we can't get to, we can get to the volcano and sail around it. But we can't go over it. The ice part is kept by the Vikings when the Empire ruled. Well, we're in a time where the Empire has been completely not only demised. So that's not the right piece to get at the minute. There's the nature key, which is in the, in the southwest island. But we can't access the southwest west using the boat. The earth key was... The demons had that, and they hid it in a very secret place, but nobody knows where that is. So that could be a possibility that we need to find that piece. And the time one says that it's a Magilith, it's got to do with a Magilith in Windy Valley, but we can't, there's, there's nothing at Windy Valley that we can access. Uh, the Magilith's at the top of the mountain, and we can't get to the top of the mountain because the disciples are blocking us from getting up there. So, yeah. Excuse me. May the power of Pepsi keep me awake. So, like, the only thing I can deduce is that we need to... Sorry, I didn't think it's a sentence. The only thing I can deduce is that it's like something to do with the demons and where they hit, where they buried their treasure. So, if that's the case, then surely we would need to speak to some demons. I did think maybe Minus would know, but there's no way of like talking and interacting with Minus.
We have the haunted forest here. This wasn't anything to do with the demons. So like looking for something that we can like potentially break or would open up a new path here, but there is nothing. Apart from a game of cards. Wanna play some cards? Ooh, big health. You've got eighty, nearly eighty one thousand airboats. You airboat hoarder, Mika. Well, speaking of like points, I know they don't mean anything with the bot, but um, I actually merged your two accounts um, the other day, Mika, actually. So all of your old points from your old Mika, Mika K account, Mika Kraken account, um, they were now all merged together. So, uh, yeah, things and stuff. With your diamond plated airboat. Had some dedication there. What was fifty thousand points? Whatever. And it took a single play, a single point of damage in that fight. I guess I have to summon him by breaking his pots.
Oh, I just realized there's like a little card icon when they have a card that you can win. It doesn't actually have anything else to say to us, which is a little bit frustrating. All right, so let's go back to uh, Caress. And we'll restudy everything she says to us because we are clearly missing something here. And I don't know what it is. secret bit here, is there? Five ninety nine. That's, um, pricing seems to have gone up. I wonder if, hold on, have they, um, I know they've brought in, like, um, regionalized pricing now. I, I think it should be, it should only be four ninety nine. I think, Atom. It's three pound ninety nine normally. It's um there is a um, it's reduced at the minute because of um subtober. It's twenty percent off um new monthly subs. But yeah, it's um I thought it was like five five dollars, not uh, not six dollars. All right, so let's go over everything she says again. So the fragment of fire. Have you met the pirates before? Their hideout can be found in your present near a volcano. All right, so it doesn't say... So maybe we could potentially be that. It says it's near a volcano. It doesn't say it is on the volcano island. They possess a fragment of fire. Ice. When the Empire ruled the land, before the frozen continent began to melt, there lived fierce Vikings. They guard the fragment of ice. So, yeah. That's when the Empire. So, that's in the time of the Empire. Make a note on that. Nature. Far to the southwest lies an island, and on this island is a timeless forest. And deep within that forest, you'll find the fragment of nature. Okay, well, we can't access the southwest at the minute. There is no way to get like to an onto the, the west side of the island, the mainland. So we can't get this one yet. Demons locked a fragment away in their most sacred temple. Demons locked a fragment away in their most sacred temple. So what's their most sacred temple? But its location was lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great War. This is my point though. Surely Minus would know. 
Why can't Minas just tell us? There is said to be a special Magilith in Windy Valley. It supposedly grants access to the Fragment of Time. The one most shrewded in mystery. So we know we can't go for ice. No, we can't go for the nature one at the moment. I can only assume that like once we've done whatever we need to do to unlock the other times then that's going to be like the centralized portal so all the portals will open up on that little island where she is all right what if we go to the library And I wonder if there's like any... I wonder if there's any books on like the demon thing. See, all these guys are just going to say thanks for helping me. Don't send the chest holds nothing more than a golden arch. Perhaps it sh I should open it. Chest. Are you talking about what Donalds? There's nothing in the library. Play cards. Forty. I may have made a mistake here, guys. He has no attack power. What? <laughs> He's got like a first strike, but he's got no attack power. Talk about useless.
arch is a bit of a problem. Playing since like them that last battle yesterday, I've been playing this. I've been playing cards like so um, defensively. I feel. I'll well just bank it all. Put him back there for a bit of defense, but yeah. Win. Easy. The Red Task Force card. stands up a wall like that, like seriously. some cards. What is this guy's point? Like, seriously. Worst card ever. Quite possibly. got two uh, two strong cards here that I can't really do anything about I guess just use the special forces cards as like blocking cards, I guess. It's probably like the only thing we can really do.
Yeah, pretty much. So it's um, the um, orange circle tells you how much the card will attack the other side. Um, obviously, the red heart is the card's health. And then you've also got the um, like the top right hand corner. It tells you sort of what the card's ability is. So the archers can attack from the back row. The axe means the damage will go through um, go through the card and attack if the card in front of it gets defeated. The sword, the red sword, means that that gets a first attack. So no matter whose turn it is, that card will always attack first. And then the blue gems basically give us one of the blue gem points back. So it's a way of like building extra cards because you can only put down cards that you can uh, afford, like ability-wise. So you've probably noticed like when they're down this left-hand side, they have a blue number next to them. And that indicates how many of the blue points I need to use to play the card. Did, did, did I do a good explanation of that? I hope so. Oh, just about one. I didn't realize. So he's like, hmm. it's a little bit of a problem. That might win it for us. Yeah, because the damage, the damage went through both the cars and there was some left over as well, so. I got the Mammoth card. Nobody's telling me anything new. I'm... This one has got me proper stumped. Spoken to everybody in here. What Donalds? Turn on Napaz. Hope you're well, buddy. We are... We're trying to evolve. You could say, though, I am a little bit stuck right now. Anyone here is going to tell me 
<laughs> Don't have grease. Grease is banned. Yeah, see, I've got the boat, so there is nobody here who can actually help me. We've been around the whole town. So I'm pretty sure, like I said, like, like I have to juice, I can't, we can't get the, the key part for ice and nature because the Vikings aren't here, it's not the time of the empire and we can't access the south west island. So that just leaves us with something at Windy Valley, if we can access the Magilith, but I don't think we can because the... The disciples are blocking the way up the mountain. So I don't feel like I can do anything at Windy Valley. The pirates, they're not there, but it did say that they live near a volcano. It didn't say that they live on the volcano. So is there more to the Cursed Isle that I... Have I... Overlook something here. So I can put that back there to get the stairs. Just uh, an empty dock. There's nothing off in this direction. Oh, wait a second. What? Okay. Self, pay more attention. All right, what time are we in here then? I I thought I'd already tried that. Clearly not. Noobs, ain't ya? Better watch it, or I swear I'll rage quit this crew. Mr. Roberts, I presume. Roberts in the flesh. Oh, in the flesh. But you don't look like your young... You don't look like young souls thirsty for adventure. You look like you're living your own epic tale already. Make the most of it. Life is full of challenges for those who can seek them out. Some adventure can be rather painful. Take a lesson from my many years. The road may be full of peril, but the adventures along the way are worth your misery. Speaking of, would you like to aid me in my next adventure? Sure. You see, as it turns out, how should I put this? It's still also new to me, but here goes. I'm in love. These things happen. So who's the lucky girl? She's, she's wonderful. She's amazing. She's strong yet vulnerable. How could a woman like her love someone like me? Indeed, if you look at the statistics, I am not well versed in love. But perhaps a good start would be to, to compose a letter. My father never failed to send one off, send one off before engaging in thorny negotiations. A letter? Yes, of course. That's a splendid idea. Just a moment, please. Here you are. Uh, so we got a letter. To one who boarded my heart and who plundered my sleep, the word choice is something else. 
Didn't quite catch that. If she does embrace my love, then it's decided. I shall retire and we will get me get my most prized treasures. Don't bother trying to find the stash. Spot so well hidden, I alone know where it is. I will eagerly await her response to my letter. You'll recognize her easily. She is the most stunning, remarkable woman on the continent. Why does this have to be so complicated? Yeah, why can't you just tell us who it is? It's such a cute story, don't you think, Kuro? Negotiations seem to be proceeding well. If both parties demonstrate good faith, it should result in a mutually beneficial agreement. Oh, that was so business-like. Yeah, woo! It's so freaking cool being a pirate. Every day I thank the seas I followed Mr. Roberts, but lately he's had a worried vibe about him. He's in love. All right, so let's let's see what this opened up then. I'm assuming that. Um, Alright, so we still can't do anything there. That's a dead end. Need to continue your journey in Monkey Island. We can get round the island now. So we can now access... We should be able to access, sorry. The southwest... The the forest. The, uh, yeah. If we can find a spot to... Uh... Okay, so this is where the nature key is. So, are we back in the present? It can't be. We didn't activate a Magilith. I... I touch nothing. Some claim that the... The... South... 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 South Forest is located outside the boundaries of time. This must be what they mean. This is a really strange place. Don't you think, Kuro? Welcome to the South Forest. All time streams converge here to form an infinite infinity of nows. It is a marvellous gift from nature that we are able to spend eternal life in a single instant over and over and without end. Do you not think so? Where's, where's the nature key? That's all that's all I that's all I interested in. Is it a puzzle game, Mika? I don't think I know what Monkey Island is, to be honest. Did you also come here to find your destiny? Just like the other heroes who seek our Oracle's wisdom, I suppose. I'll play some cards. Alright. Okay. one. I got a hunch. I don't even have to do anything here. Let's 
Good game. There, you deserve this card. I, I can totally relate to that, Mika. I often play a lot of older games just for that very same reason. Oh, it's you. Have you not been here once before? Or perhaps you are not here yet. Time matters little in this place. It's an interesting looking rock. Yeah, don't we all? Heroes come from far and wide to have our oracle reveal their next quest. As she knows all of the past and future, she alone can answer their questions. We are at the com confluence of time streams, so they sometimes wait years to have their fate revealed. Their fans must be anxiously waiting their return. <laughs> so we got who we got here? We got Mario. We got um, uh, Ryu from Street Fighter, Link, Bomberman. I'm not sure who this one is. <laughs> Somebody who's got Frozen songs stuck in their head. Where are my bombs? I know I had them a second ago. Who is that? It's, it's must obviously a Disney character. It's not. Um, it's not Sora. Is it Sora from Kingdom Hearts? Possibly. If you meet a chatty fairy, just run the other way. This time, I'm totally going to crush that stuck-up blonde dude. I really hope she's not going to get kidnapped again. <laughs> you are somehow different from the other heroes. For that matter, are you even a hero? Welcome, heroes of this world. I am no hero. I only wish for my son. I know, Minas. The currents of time keep no secrets from us slights. All events occur here, here, time and again, ad infinit infinitum. But that means everything is already written. Everything we do is meaningless and pointless. Quite the opposite, Fina. The choices you make shape your destiny. And conversely, fate molds your choices. Only a few possess absolute freedom, the ability to change everything. You're talking about Kuro, aren't you? Yes, Kuro is one of those few. His past, present and future choices may change everything or nothing. Does that mean he can save my parents and village? And that I might aid my son before it's too late? Yes, perhaps, and much more still. But you must first gather the five fragments of the magic key. Is that not why you are here? I have a question for you, Oracle. Ask a wave of it. Isn't it risky to use the magic key? It could very well destroy more than it would save. The sheer impact of such an event on space-time. I cannot answer your question, Velvet. That is one you humans must tackle. The Scythes... Scythes... I'm going to call them. Scythes... Scythes... Man, pronunciation. Past and present are without meaning, as are cause and effect. There is no yesterday or tomorrow, only the eternal now. In this, in this now, you are at once. You are once here and not that, not here. You are saying that what we see see as before and after to you, it is an eternity. Precisely, Minus. This is why I cannot judge things as good or bad. They are simply parts of the same whole. So why would one try to differentiate between them? I'm not sure I understand everything, but I do agree nothing is ever entirely black or white. Take Reno, for instance. He wanted to kill a lot of humans, and in a way, he succeeded, because without him, we wouldn't have reached the weapon. But if it had been me, and the Empire killed my family, wouldn't I have done the same thing? I'd like to think I wouldn't, but I can't ever be sure of that. I suppose at times, we can only judge our actions after the fact. Oracle, can you give us the magic key fragment? Had it been in my possession, I would have gladly given it to you, but the Magi entrusted it to the Guardian of our sacred grove. Long has the Guardian watched over the grove, but his strength has withered away. He was event eventually corrupted by evil spirits of the forest. The sadist sadistus? I don't think he can hear, it, hear you in his current state. 
And keep in mind that different eras tend to merge in the Sacred Grove, so be beware not to wander too much. Is there no way to help the Guardian? Maybe we could get rid of those solicitors. Won't be an easy task, but perhaps with a slice of tear. Slice of tear? Such a thing does not really exist, as we slice had neither past nor future. We have no sadness, no regret, and therefore no reasons to shed tears. And yet, I feel certain you will come by by a tear. I'm, just, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out saying that because I I've got it in the back of my head that I'm absolutely butchering that pronunciation every time I say it. So I'm just gonna cut that one out. How can that be? Go see Finrella at the Grove's entrance. She can surely help you. Another challenge to overcome, Kuro. Sounds dangerous. Oh, but maybe there'll be some magic ruins to ex excavate. I've always taken to walks in the forest. Your final choice draws near, Kuro. Hmm. You wish to enter the sacred grove? I'm afraid that is impossible for mere humans. But wait. You there. You are not entirely human. Who, me? What are you trying to say? I can hardly believe it, but you have blood in you. Then you must possess certain powers. Did you never wonder why? Me? A scythe? No. You are not a scythe yourself, but you must have one in your family. Someone in my family? Yes. And to enter the sacred grove, you shall have to find them. But that's impossible. My family, my whole village is... Think. There must be a member of this girl's family somewhere. You must find it and retrieve one of her tears to enter the sacred grove. Okay. So, um, I don't actually know at the minute what time we're in. But we need to recover a tear from Fina's family then. I think like watching uh, people play games, I mean, is a, a great way to experience a lot more games than you'd pro possibly be able to experience on your own. So I totally get what you're saying. Just me, there's like some underwater ruin there. Irons here already. Doing his poster checks as always. What's going on, Iron? All right, what did that do? Ruins of Demonia. Aha! Okay, so here we might be able to find the um, the Earth Key. Demonia! Utterly and completely destroyed. It is unbearable. I don't wish to see that. I'm going to speak to him. We should probably leave them alone. Can there be no hope of a better world? All of life's pleasures gone forever. The hour of our last sunset. I shall think of you, Demonia. Alright, five cards.
probably not the best move, I'll be honest. That wasn't smart either. Man, nine points of damage there I lost. At least. It's not looking too good though, I'll be honest. Just replace those two, so yeah, we're dead. We lost. It's all because of you humans, but what's the use in fighting you? You won, it's over. And that's like defeatist. Looks like nothing else I could do there. Pretty bad opening hand. Right, computer's banking everything. Alright, we've got a frontline defense at least. Bottom card is completely useless. Absorb one of their attacks at least. Oh, I won't. I need some better defense down in this bottom corner. Four in the bottom. Ah, oh, seven. No. I don't think the computer can do any damage to me here. No, okay. Um, placement cards so soon. Computer wins. Ah! Yeah, that was close though. That was a close one.
Okay, we need to block the top. I don't want to do that, but okay. Okay. It's just the look of the draw there as well with the whatever cards that you get selected. Dies next turn. Five will go through with three damage on there. Plus five is eight. So if I can get the arch to play, which I can't. If I'd have got the arch to play, I would have won, I think. But yeah, we win. We should win next turn. We win. Considering, like, there's so many different aspects to this game, it's like having, like, a card game like this in it as well, which is like so complex and it's like not just like a walk in the park is just it flabbergasts me demons live much longer than humans but there are simply too few of us now within a hundred years demons will be extinct and that's what you humans wanted isn't it ready for a game of cards I have heard of it, yeah. Is it sort of like a similar, is it similar to this? I've never really been into like card games as such before, but I don't know, this one's like, oh, it's gonna hit me for eight, uh, seven, sorry. This one's like, I'm like really quite into like the cards on this game. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I need to uh, take some time and have a look. Uh, this should win. I should win the game. I'll have my revenge. Come to gawk at the last three demons, have you? Or maybe you'd like to capture us and make us your make us slaves, slave away in your mine. See, I don't know like anything about like those sorts of games at all, like Pokemon, Digimon. You know, all those sort of like classic card games. I don't know anything about any of them. Let us leave this place. I 
wonder if like he could bust open that. I wonder if it's got to be something secret though around here somewhere. Gotta be a secret hiding spot somewhere. Check it out sometime. Ah, oh, yikes. And gambling doesn't really, gambling doesn't interest me. Um, I think a lot of the reason for that is because um, my wife's father kind of had a bit of a gambling problem and lost quite a bit of money for the whole family. So I've always kind of had a bit of a, view that uh, I don't particularly like gambling because of that, you know, because it's brought like such dis distress to uh, my wife's family. Going to like casinos and things just really doesn't appeal to me. You're still here. You think I have time to waste? I came here for some peace and quiet. Now leave. I'm conducting very important research. Well then, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there lived a mad scientist, a terrifying man whose knowledge derived from mysterious sources. He wielded absolute power with even the ability to create a new life form. But one day he disappeared without a trace, leaving his son fatherless and alone. That was my father. I barely remember him at all. He abandoned me when my mother died and I was only four years old. Uh. Thank me. Sorry. Uh, ever since, I've been trying to outdo him by creating what no one else has successfully made before. You will scarcely believe your eyes. A flying machine. I know it sounds crazy, but with enough hard work, I believe I can do it. Even if it takes the rest of my life. Of course, if I had a prototype to work off, that would make the task considerably easier. Now, I was just calculating lift, aerodynamics, and temporal gradient. I wonder if we can go and pick up the um, the air machine from the future and bring it to him. We guardians were discovered by the Magi. They believed that we... They were our creators, but they were they merely found us. You who seeks the sacred power of wind, I see you are wide awake, but did you bring what I asked for? Okay, I gotta bring the tear. 
Huh. Okay. We need to find, um... So we need to find Fina's family. And see if we can get the tear, I guess. Alright, so this is obviously after the Great Disaster. I think um, everyone's listened to a bit of House of Pain, they're all jumping around. you get here? They're not pirates, I hope. They occupied this island until recently, but they were run out by something or someone. They went to hide out in their lair to the east. I'm getting far too distracted with cards. It's good that you've you, you learn from your mistakes and you you, rec you realize that you've done something wrong, Mika, and that you know you want to better yourself. So always take positives from you know coming to that sort of realization. I think you got the right the sentence made sense, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not sure why you're correcting. I think he Mika meant ruining, not running. So we're dead. Wait, were you talking about something that I said, or was you referring to what Mika said? Mr. So confused. Doesn't take a lot to confuse an old fool like me, but...
You have a letter for me? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Let me read it. The answer is yes. I've always admired you so, my lovely pirate Roberts. And yet, I didn't think you would be so young. With your vibrant hair and glasses on your forehead, you are exactly my type. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Here, Mr. Roberts, this will prove my love for you. Amikpa, I never ever want to. I never ever want to go back to ruining my life. Did you remember to put your spectacles on today, Iron? I'm going to tell all my girlfriends that Pirate Roberts is a handsome young man with a dazzling head of hair. Alright, let's head back. Tinder profile. You managed to find her Tinder profile. That's fantastic! I'm totally gonna right swipe her. There was mention of a reward. Yes, absolutely, my greatest treasures. Now that I'll be return retiring with my beloved, I won't need them. Shouldn't be any trouble, really. I buried the stuff in a secure location. It's uh I can't remember. Are you joking? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm serious. I can't remember. I seriously can't remember where I buried my treasure. For months I thought of nothing else but my love, and I plum forgot. But it matters not. I promised you a reward, so I'll grant you what's left of my most prized possessions. Well, at least we didn't do all this for nothing. Ah, okay. So. What we can do now is we can put this on our ship. Because when we went near the pirates before, they said that they would only um, they would only battle with other pirates, right? So we need to go back to the 3D time, I think. The same Malmagulif. Take me back to the era of 3D. Okay, so now... Oh. Maybe I did too many then. Yeah, that's uh, that's not your bad, me. That's Iron's bad. Let's try this next one. I thought the pirate ship was in the um, the three D time.
You got a pirate flag? It can't be! That's the flag of the legendary pirate Roberts. So you've come to challenge us, is that it? In that case, you'll have to beat every single one of us in hand to hand combat. Best of luck to you. Pirate's Lair. Holy Snail, if I am chosen to fight, far too many pirates would meet an untimely end. Nevertheless, I shall come. I will show you some of the special moves taught to me by my father. If you dare challenge us, the pirates of, par of the bay won't be defeated so easily. Oh my goodness. Why is the streets of rage? Holy cow. <laughs> oh my god, this this game continues to like blow my mind. After a jump, jump again to form an uppercut. Wow. The soundtrack though, man. The soundtrack is epic. At the top of your jump, jump once more to execute a spin attack. Okay. If you're in need help, you can call me by focusing. But, don't talk to anyone about it. Bruce Lee's now. I didn't realize Bruce Lee was a pirate. I'll go, go grab a drink for that hydrate iron. Just give me a second. Thanks for the hydrate iron.
his approach was kind of like to keep things simple so that everybody can understand sort of thing. Pretty good approach. Come on. Who next? Use him as a bowling ball. <laughs> I was kind of like expecting to do like his little like charge attack or like just drop in. I didn't expect him to uh, to be able to throw him like that. That's for sure. I gotta look this soundtrack up on um, YouTube. I absolutely love like this the whole soundtrack to this game. Sound effects. The sound effects for those guys are epic. They just like walk and punch. thinking of Albert and so he said something like this if you cannot say something in a simple way you haven't understood the things at all the critical way of thinking with with similar thoughts yeah I, I yeah I think if you understand the topic then you should be able to break it down in layman's terms for anybody to understand I wholeheartedly agree with that is this is this the artifact behold what we came here to find the Fragment of Fire. Who dares oppose us? Who are these fearless pirates? We are the fearless pirates of the bay. Mum, I just didn't read that right at all. Claims to ownership crumble at our feet. What's yours is ours. Anybody knows where Kenny is? He had an accident. <laughs> that a South Park reference? Okay, Wedge, you finish it off. And all that jazz. The ghost of Pirate Roberts. He came to get his treasure back. 
You fool. That's not Pirate Robert's treasure. It's just a magi wis what's it the boss said we couldn't mess with. I think Biggs is right. If that was Robert's framed treasure hoard, the boss would have been would be the pirate's king. I bet it's just a pirate dressed up like Robert's. That's what I said, but nobody ever listens to me. So what's the plan, Biggs? The boss is still in the bathroom, and he hates being bothered while in there. And yeah, I warned warned him that fish look fishy, but the boss doesn't listen to me either. Motion to hold a meeting on the topic of our next move. Motion accepted. So I'm just going to take this, right? Oh. Captain Ababa. What's going on here? What a prodigious mustache. Prestigious. You've come to challenge me, have you? I feel like I've got a few debuffs stacked on me. But there's no way I'm letting you take the magi what's it. Solid snail. That foe seems to be mightier than the others. Be on your guard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so he does a charge attack. But I gotta enjoy. Uh, uh. Ah, okay. So avoid the charge attack. And I think this fight should be pretty easy. He says. Yikes. Yikes. It's so hard to dodge. He's so quick when he like starts doing that charge. I know what you mean though. I often try and break things down for people and it's like I end up trying to kind of talking a lot more complicated than it needs to be, so you gonna give me a chance to get up here or what?
Man, this guy. It's really tough to like avoid when he charges. Maybe I just need to put like enough distance between me and him. He just like backs me into a corner and I can't do anything. This is uh Maybe when he charges, I can do that. So, if I can get that spin kick down, then I think I might be able to stop him from charging. straight into a power driver. Alright. Words to be silent and contemplate ten times before saying something. This asks a question from oneself that is simple enough to say, or has one really understanding what they are about to say. Yeah, I think um, a lot of people are guilty of just sort of like saying the first thing that kind of like pops into the head rather than actually taking the time to think about what they want to say. Let's go, let's go really well. It was. I just gotta time those like roundhouse then jump kicks better.
I had a bad start to that one. Come on. I have like a really good spell and then we just like really struggle. The meatballs, the spicy meatballs. <laughs> yeah, we used to call them the spicy meatballs. Spicy meatballs. into him. Oh, 
Ah, what's into him? All right. I've got a bit of a new strategy, though, and that seemed to, like, work a lot better. I don't need to, like, jump around. I just need to literally, like, walk out of the way. I need to be careful, like, the direction I walk. Strategy like completely went out the window as soon as I started getting hit by him. Pile drives me once more, that's it, I'm dead. Ah, I'd say, didn't I? Come on. Getting towards the end of the stream as well. This is uh, going to be my stream mission. I need to get this done before the stream ends. Excuse me? My SQL, what are you doing? <laughs> like a massive black box just like appear in the middle of my freaking screen. That was something. We got the Fragment of Fire. The volcano is beginning to erupt. Quickly, solid snail. We must flee now. Oh no.
Gotta go like Sonic and gotta go fast. I was just about to say, I'm alright as long as I get the Bruce Lee guys. Because they are a real nightmare. Reminds me of the end of freaking Resident Evil, the fourth survivor. And it was like your final bit, and there was like a massive gauntlet. Quickly, Kuro! What happened? We have to reach the sea. The volcano could destroy everything. So, what happens when you leave men in charge? Thanks. And here I was expecting heaps of praise for a successful combat. I'm not sure really what I expected, but it's gone like above and beyond. Definitely. The island's been completely destroyed. I almost feel sorry for those poor pirates. We're lucky got the magic key fragment in time. Yay, triple dragon. Alright, so we've got the first one. We have the first fragment. Let's go back and talk to... Um, uh, Caress. Let's see if she's got anything new to say now that we've got that fragment. Congratulations! You had the Fragment of Fire. Who knows what will happen to those pirates? Maybe they'll find another place to live. I'd like to have a place I could call home. Come and see me if you need more information on the Fragment of Mag Magi Key. Is that all you got to say? All right, so we shouldn't really have anything else to say to us then. Well, that's the guy, isn't it? the guy. I still don't really know where his treasure is. We should really uh, look at that in the right time, time zone, timeline, and uh, sort of go from there. There's our fragment of fire look on our magic key. And uh, yeah, so a bit of an interesting stream tonight. Um, Basically, we had a really, really slow start, and we were really struggling to kind of like understand what we needed to do. But once we got there, we finally made some progress. We got the first of five um, fragments of the magic key. Only four more to go: um, ice, nature, earth, and time. 
but uh, we will come back to this next week but uh, for now guys that is going to bring the stream to a close thank you very much everybody for tuning in as always i appreciate your ongoing support have a great weekend and i will catch you on the other side where we'll have a portal 2 stream on the monday evening but until then guys thank you very much i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe and until next time happy gaming bye guys thank you very much